welcome back welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to set up your raspberry pi pico 2w so this is the second generation raspberry pi pico and yes this is a wi-fi and bluetooth enabled version you are going to need a micro usb cable you are going to need a raspberry pi pico 2w and you are going to need a pc it could be windows linux or mac anyone will work fine let's go the process for connecting the raspberry pi pico w and the pico 2w are exactly the same so again i'm simply going to plug my usb my micro usb cable into to my Raspberry Pi Pico 2W. I'm going to refer to this as 2W from now on, so it's a lot easier to say. After that, I'm going to plug the other end of my USB cable into my PC, but before I plug it in, I need to press and hold the button on the Raspberry Pi Pico 2W. So I'm going to press and hold that button down and plug the USB cable into my PC. You should hear a Windows connection sound, and then you should see a window pop up. Perfect. I heard the Windows connection sound and this is the window that popped up here. I'm going to be able to drag my firmware file into this. But before I can do that, I need to go ahead and download the files I need. So first, we're going to be doing the Raspberry Pi Pico 2W MicroPython implementation. So simply Google Pico 2W UF2 MicroPython. You, don't, you probably don't have to type every single thing I just said, but just search for it and you should see this page that comes up. It says MicroPython is the website. Then the Pico 2 is the highlight that comes up. So I'm going to click on the one that says Pico 2. This looks exactly the same as Raspberry Pi pico so the first generation one so don't be worried scroll down again when you get to the section that says firmware you're gonna the one that says latest is the one you're gonna want so it says 29 again of the 11 2024 i'm gonna click on this to download it let me open my downloads folder here so this is the file that was just downloaded let's minimize this let's minimize that i need to get the file from my computer onto my raspberry pi pico 2w a couple ways we can do this as i said before we can right click and then we can copy from here then we can paste it on the other side so right click again and paste it here or we can simply drag and drop it because it's a single file i think most people simply drag and drop this across so all you need to do again for drag and drop is click on your mouse and hold it down on the first icon on your pc drag it so move your mouse to the second window and then simply let go once you get to this window what's going to happen now it's going to transfer the file from my windows pc to my pico 2w and it's going to do a windows disconnection sound and close the window on the right as well all of that's going to happen in a single process so i'm going to let go and let's wait for that to happen Perfect. Heard the disconnection sound and the window closed as well. To test this, I'm going to be using Thunny. I already showed how to download and install this in previous videos, but again, this is a website here. I will put the link in the description so you can go ahead and grab it if you need to. I'm going to open Thunny on my PC. Once Thunny is open, the bottom right hand corner of the Thunny window, it says MicroPython for me at the moment because that's the last thing I had open on my Raspberry Pi Pico W, the first version. I'm going to click on that and from that window, that from that drop down list that comes up, I'm going to click on the second option that says MicroPython Raspberry pi pico once i click on that the ide refreshes and everything is connected so i have micro python version 1.24.1 and i'm running the raspberry pi pico 2 so to test this again just like i did before i'm going to type print at the very top open close then inside i'm going to type hello world and then i'm going to press the play button or the run button we should see some output down here at the bottom of the screen that tells us everything is working perfect that's my output there everything's working fine now we need to move over to using circuit python for the 2w so just like before i'm going to press and hold the button on my raspberry pi pico 2w i'm going to plug the usb cable back in because i need to do a different firmware now so i'm going to plug that in you should hear a windows connection sound there we go windows connection sound that thing popped up the window popped up so i'm going to go back to the website i need to go to and again to find this file you type in pico 2w uf2 circuit python again you might not have to type every single thing i put there but once you find the correct website you should be good to go the name of the website is circuitpython.org and the page is going to be pico 2w download i'm going to click on that one and again on the right hand side it gives us all the details that we need i'm going to click on where it says download uf2 now click on that let me go back to my downloads folder and it's going to be the one that says ada root circuit python let's minimize the website now i have both windows open on the left hand side i have my windows pc and on the right hand side i have my raspberry pi pico 2w stuff it's the 2350 that's the name the code name for the raspberry pi pico 2w i need to get the file from my pc onto the raspberry pi pico so i can copy it or i can drag and drop it whichever one works fine for now i'm going to drag and drop so i'm going to click and hold down on the icon then i'm going to move it over to the raspberry pi pico 2w and let go again it's going to transfer the file then it's going to play the disconnection sound and it's going to close the window on the right as well perfect that worked perfectly fine then i'm going to open thunny at the bottom right hand corner of my screen i'm going to click on the thing that says micropython whatever you have here is irrelevant simply click on the name here for me i'm going to click on micropython rp2040 this should still work for the rp2350 don't worry they probably just haven't updated everything yet so i'm going to click on that it refreshes and as you can see i've got adafruit circuit python 9.2.4 for the raspberry pi pico 2w so they just haven't renamed everything i'm going to type print at the top open close then i'm going to say hello world i'm going to press 
press the play or run button and down here we should see an output that says hello world perfect everything is working perfectly fine so that's how you connect your raspberry pi pico to your pc to get the new firmware that's how you download circuit python and transfer that firmware that's also how you download micro python and transfer it to the raspberry pi pico 2w thanks for watching stay tuned